recently I've been all stuffed up. I've had a bit of a sore throat. I've got this cold going and now I'm starting to get like dizzy spells here and there. Are those in any way correlated? Is this something that might be a balance disorder in a way, or is this just like a cold acting up? So what's so crazy right now is I would ask you if you've spoken with your physician and got tested for COVID-19, <laughs> um, but, you know, generally, so, you know, prior to this pandemic and, and the um, kind of COVID-19 interest, you know, just a runny nose, runny nose, a scratchy throat, sneezing or coughing, you know, would be cold symptoms um, that make us super miserable and a lot of people don't feel good. But what happens a lot of times with colds is we get really, um, most of us don't sleep as well. We get really exhausted, fatigue can kick in, um, and we can also start to get lightheadedness. And so those are classic symptoms of a cold. And so there's a lot of different reasons why that could lead to you know, dizziness or even um, a sensation of foggy headedness. So the first one would be, you know, if you truly have, we call it a fusion or, you know, snot in your throat, snot in your nose, it can actually make its way into that middle ear cavity. So that could be a big reason why you feel kind of plugged up is because that middle ear cavity is, is literally plugged with fluid. Um, but then, you know, another reason that we see a lot in the clinic is you could actually get some type of, you know, the, the viral component of it can actually kind of make its way into the ear. So having labyrinthitis um, is something that we do see in the clinic. And labyrinthitis is literally just a swelling and irritation of the inner ear. And so those patients, you know, when you're infected with a virus like the common cold or even flu, um, can result in symptoms of dizziness and imbalance. Um, we always make sure when we're chatting with patients that it's not just, um, not just, but you know, that de dehydration is not a factor um, because again, when we're, when we're not feeling well, you know, it's really important to take in proper liquids and getting our rest. But when patients come in and we suspect that it could potentially be labyrinthitis, we again, rely a lot on our equipment. So the test data will show a weakness on one side of the system. And so that paired with the case history will tell us um, kind of exactly the story that we need to, to kind of tell the patient and the diagnosis is a lot easier to make. 